and welcome to today's video so for this video I just thought I would do like a little quick get ready with me and um, just kind of like a quarantine get ready with me and um, I'm just gonna I'm literally just going to a few shops today and um, just to get some bits and yeah I thought that I would just film my simple um, everyday makeup and um, skincare routine that I'm doing um, in the morning at the minute just to make myself look a bit put together um, but without going too over the top especially because it's really sunny at the minute um, we've been really lucky with the weather so I don't want anything too heavy makeup wise um, and my freckles have come out in the sun as well and I don't really like to cover them up um, when they are out and um, so yeah I've just got out of the shower which is why my hair is wet um, but what I've been doing is just um, washing it and conditioning it and then just letting it dry naturally um, in the sun and without using too much heat on it and then it just goes kind of straight wavy so um, yeah I've just popped this um, leave-in conditioner in so this is the um, Function of Beauty um, leave-in conditioner and yeah Function of Beauty is a really great brand and um, they personalise the bottle so my um, is obviously a function of Nadia um, and yeah you can pick your hair goals and what you want to achieve from the products um, and what scent you want, what colour you want, yeah it's a really great brand um, and I've also got the shampoo and conditioner so yeah I use this every day when I wash my hair um, and yeah I've just popped that in and then just let it dry naturally. Okay, so I'm just going to start off um, with some toner so I've got this one right here and this is actually the Nivea um, toner that I've just popped in here this is like a travel size bottle and um, I like to take this around with me like in my handbag to give my skin a um, refresh or when I'm traveling and um, so yeah and then I'm just going to spray that on a cotton pad and then just wipe it on my skin I've actually stopped um, stopped using toners recently not for really any reason but um, like I said I've had all my room changed around so my skincare was kind of dotted all over the place and um, I'll link my skincare organization and makeup organization video down below so you can check that out if you're interested and I've popped on there my um, tour of my little beauty corner and how I org I've organized all my um, products now that it's all finished um, but yeah I stopped using toners and I actually quite miss using them so um, I'm glad that I've got my few toners to pick from again um, also if my eyebrows look a bit red I have just plucked them so that's probably why and then I'm just going to go in with some eye cream so I'm just using the Kiehl's creamy eye um, avocado treatment and I just kind of dot this on just around my eyes and then also the eyelids and then I'm just going to go in with this product which is the Sunday Riley CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. Um, now I really enjoyed using this um, but I have got the tiniest bit left. It's basically um, ran out but it was expensive so I'm trying to get every last smidgen of product. Okay and then last but not least I'm going to go in with the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion um, Purifying Day Moisturiser. I've been switching and using both of these but if I want more of a... Um, SPF and a high coverage. I've been using this one which I bought a few weeks ago. So this is the Bondi Sands Daily Moisturising Face SPF 50 and it's fragrance free. Um, so yeah this one's purely for the face and I've really enjoyed using this. Now I'm not going to lie I do find that I got a few breakouts around my chin using this but I do think and kind of around my nose but they weren't anything major it was just kind of a few um, one or two red bumps and I think that's just me with sun cream obviously a bit more thicker so I think I just sometimes am prone um, but yeah I didn't break out with this one half as bad as I usually do um, and yeah it's fragrance free and SPF 50 so it's really really great um, sun protection and it's really nice to pop on I don't wear it under makeup I wear it if I'm just um, if I'm not wearing makeup and it gives such a gorgeous dewy glow it makes your skin look really supple and healthy and um, so yeah I definitely recommend this one okay so that is skincare done and um, so now I'm just going to go in with um, some makeup just some light summery makeup so I'm going to start off with using this product right here which I always use um, and this is the by Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum and this is the shade Sunny Flash because um, it gives a nice glow to the skin and also gives a bit of a um, tanned coverage so it makes you look nice and healthy um, and I just do kind of two small pumps and then I'm just going to pat it in and I've been 
popping it on with my hands recently just to give a little bit more of a lighter um, more natural coverage. I don't usually apply makeup with my hands um, but this product actually works really nicely and like I said I usually do it with a brush um, but at the minute I just want a bit more uh, lighter coverage so okay and then I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of concealer so I'm actually using this one so this is the Benefit Boing Concealer um, and this is in the shade 3 now I'm not sure if they still do this I think they do but um, I bought this a long time ago um, and I found it, I used to love it so much and I couldn't find it and then I found it when I was clearing out all my beauty stuff and I started just using it again just lightly under the eyes and on every any kind of um, breakout to cover any breakouts and I really do love it so I'm glad that I found it so I can start using it again. I'm just going to go in with some highlighter um, and that is literally it for face makeup um, and I just kind of pop it on the cheekbones and bring it up from the apples of my cheeks. This is the Becca Cosmetics um, Shimmer and Skin Perfector, the liquid one and this is in shade Champagne Pop and I just squirt kind of one pump and then rub it, mix it in with my finger on my hand and then I just pat it on those areas that I want to concentrate on. And then with the other finger, I blend it in. Also, has anyone else kind of forgotten what it's like to wear a full face of makeup? <laughs> like, the thought of actually putting on a full face at the minute just is not sitting well with me. <laughs> I don't know if it's the heat or... I think it's because we haven't, obviously, really... Well, I haven't worn any in so long, like a full face. So I just kind of like to do this light look. Um, but yeah, I can't can't imagine what it's going to be like on that first night out or whatever when I'm putting a full face on. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with um, some mascara and do my eyebrows. So again, for eyebrows, really simple. I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Um, and yeah, just brush it through just to broom my, broom, groom my brows um, and make them stay in place. This is a really lovely product because it's not pricey. It's really, really reasonable. You can get it from Boots now, I think. Um, but the quality is really, really good. It really makes my um, brow hair stay in place. And yeah, I think it's so cheap. It's like two or three pounds. Um, and yeah, it's definitely worth it. I'm just going to go on to mascara. So this is the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Full Slash Waterproof Mascara. Um, and I like this one because it gives quite natural fluttery lashes um, so nice if you don't want too much volume or too much of a dramatic look but yeah I feel like it's a really weird time at the minute because some people it's kind of that fine line between going back to normal and getting out of lockdown because I mean, it's not normal. It's not going to be normal for a long time. Um, but there are people that are obviously starting to go back to work. Um, kind of more shops are opening. Um, all the non-essential shops are opening. And it just kind of makes you think, I don't know, it's just a weird time. Like, when is right to go out? When do you kind of make that break between staying at home more and then maybe just pop into the shops or whatever? Um, yeah, I'd, it is a strange time. I feel like everyone's kind of got mixed messages about it and just kind of doing what's best for them, which I suppose all you can do is just keep used to yourself and your family as safe as you can. Um, but yeah, it's definitely weird and I definitely find that I am thinking more about going out. Like, if, I, if it's not necessary, obviously I won't go. I think it's definitely worrying, kind of, the thought of getting back to normal as such and having to I don't know like even the thought of getting closer to people again and that you don't know and like in shops if someone comes near me I'm still very much anxious about it which I mean is fine because we're still having to keep that distance which I'm grateful for um but yeah it just normal life just still seems so far away um but yeah it's just a weird time and all you can do is just keep following the rules um, but yeah, so I'm also just on my lips. I'm literally just going to pop some lip balm, and um, so I'm just going to pop this Nivea Mango Shine lip balm on. 
uh, just to give a bit of a gloss and glow to lips and to be honest I can't bear to wear lipstick at the minute um, so yeah I'm just popping that on and then actually just to finish I'm just going to go in with this product which is the Beauty Pie Fresh Glow Facial Spray and I've been trying this out the last week or so um, over makeup and I'm actually really enjoying it um, so just the spray isn't that strong that's the only thing so you it says keep it quite far away but you do need it a little bit closer to feel it um, so yeah I'm just going to spray that and it's nice and light to be honest I'm not sure how much of a good job it does at setting and fixing my makeup um, obviously it's hot so makeup's kind of slipping and sliding everywhere um, and I don't, I'm not really wearing much anyway but it does give a really nice glow to the skin um, and just is nice as a freshen up throughout the day and um, that would be really nice to pop on over your makeup so yeah that is pretty much it um, for my makeup and skincare routine I just need to get dressed now um, and I think I'm just going to pop on this um, play suit so this um, I bought a few weeks ago from Pretty Little Thing um, and it's actually really nice it's really nice cool material um, I love the stripes and then you just you can either tie it in the middle here or you can use it as like a wrap around which is what I like to do and then tie it at the back and um, but yeah really nice and light material and I think they've just come out with a few other um, colours as well so I'm going to look at those because I really like the fit of this as well so yeah I hope that you enjoyed watching this quick little get ready with me just thought I'd film one because I always think they're quite fun to watch my next video that I will upload will be on Sunday which will be the second episode of my the skincare diary series um, and it will be all about toners and um, so if I think they're a vital skincare step what are my favorite ones what difference do they make and um, things like that if you have any questions regarding that or anything to do with this video or anything else then please just leave them below and um, I'll also link my Instagram down below so you can DM me on there if you would like to um, ask any skincare questions or anything and there's also a few videos um on my channel that i've uploaded recently i'm going to be uploading twice a week now wednesdays and sundays so that will be um the schedule going forward um so yeah the last one i uploaded was obviously sunday and it was the first episode of my new um skincare diary series and it was all about cleansers and um, so yeah check that out if you're interested they'll all be on my channel so yeah i hope you enjoy your day stay safe and i'll see you soon bye